And now we whisk off to the land of mail merge, which can be a bit confusing sometimes, but I will strive to make the complicated simple for you. On the mailings ribbon, there is a start mail merge section. So you click on the start mail merge, and down here, there is a step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. Click on it, and it will walk you through six steps to a perfect, well, at least perfect as possible, mail merge. We'll keep it simple and do a letter. Step two, do we want to use a current document? Start from a template or start from an existing document. Maybe you already had something typed up. Now you need to go ahead and enter the name and address information automatically for your 50 or 60 or 100 or 1,000 recipients. We'll keep it simple. Use the current document. Step three, do we want to use an existing list? One from your Outlook contacts or type a new list. Since we already have a list available for this example, we will find it. There's my database. It is now loaded. And we now have the database loaded into the mail merge system in Word. All right, we're halfway there. Now we're going to write the letter over here. Here is where we can add an address block. This is where you're actually going to put the fields to actually activate the mail merging. So here's some predefined fields, the address block. What do we want it to look like? It's going to look like this right here. We can kind of see, go through our recipient list. Maybe we want to make it look this way or more formal and so on and so forth. Any other items that you would like to select, click OK, and there is the address block. Hit return a couple times. Maybe we want a greeting line. What do we want that to look like? Dear or to somebody, depends on how formal you want it to be. Click OK, and there's the greeting line. Do we want to add electronic postage or more? Okay. From neck there, we'll go ahead and preview the letter. Ah, there we go. That's the way it's going to look like when it's all finished. We can run through the recipients, make sure that we have everything okay, um, correct. Maybe we want to exclude the Smith family. So we'll go ahead and exclude them. And now we go from one to three. Step five is going to complete it. We are done. It has been completed we in a new document. Do we want to print it? We can print it straight there. Or do we want to edit the individual letters? Merge them all. There we go. Now we have a new document called Letters 1. There are two pages, meaning two letters here, because we excluded one of them. And that is it. You notice that was step 6 of 6. We are finished using the Mail Merge Wizard. Wasn't too difficult, was it? Outstanding. Now go practice it on your own.